Hey, we're live on Facebook, on Instagram, and we got our regular camera there. So, today we are going to make a Chipotle style bowl. Okay, we got chicken and beans and rice and Carmen and Jason will be very, very happy. And I'm sorry I'm kind of backlit. We'll get that right next time. Uh, but Carmen and Jason are going to be very, very happy that we are not using boil-in bag rice. We actually use regular rice and cooked it the way we're supposed to cook it. So, uh, we're going to have chicken, which is healthy, beans, which are healthy uh, for our kids. And since we're stuck home, we're all kind of cooking together. And if I move here, I think I'll be a little more centered on that one. So, let's get this right. This is our first live demo for cooking on all these different things. I got Melissa on Instagram Live. I got my son on just a regular video. He's going to be producing that. And I got Kira over here Hello. who wants to come say hi, I think. Right? Yeah. No? Yeah. I know she's. Coming. All right, all right, all right. She could come over real quick. Who do we have there? Hey, Trudy and Pamela. So, real quick, just say hi. Hello. This young lady helps us cook, right? Yeah. Um, but she likes to eat mostly. That's what she's going to be doing. Okay, mm -hmm. so we have the, the first thing we do is chicken. So we're going to start that chicken up. I'm going to take this laptop with us. Uh, we also have some of the food prepared so that you don't have to sit here and watch it all uh, all cook in one shot. So the deal here is there. There's our pan. We just grab some organic chicken breast, right? Some organic chicken thighs as well. Okay, so we're just going to put that in our pan. It's a cast iron skillet that we like. And it just has some olive oil in it. It's already preheated. So we're going to take some chicken. We're going to season it up in here with Melissa's super secret seasoning recipe that I'll show you what it is. Okay? I'm going to lay that in. And anytime you touch raw meats, you want to wash your hands really well after. So we're going to turn around, turn it back to you, wash your hands. And what you guys can do best is, you know, show the food, show me, make sure they can hear me, to try not to video my back, if you can, okay? So, I'm going to add a little salt and pepper to this, and people are going to ask me how much you put in. It's not how much you put in, you kind of season it to taste. So, I learned from my friend Jason Roberts, who's a chef. That salt is not a seasoning, right? It's a flavor enhancer. So don't use this to flavor your food. You want your food, the cooking and the herbs that you use, you want all of that to give it its flavor. And the actual, the way you prepare it. So like this cast iron skillet is going to give this a real nice flavor. And Melissa just uses this, this perfect pitch rotisserie chicken seasoning. So you can make your own seasoning. I'll let you know what's in this after. But it's just going to allow it to black it up a little bit too. I wonder if uh, Chef Robert, Chef Jason would approve of that or not, but anyway, I'm sure he can make a really good rotisserie chicken deal. Wash your hands. Is it I washed my hands. Can you come follow me? Thanks. Hmm. All right, so this is really simple and really easy. Okay, while that chicken's cooking, we're going to chop up some lettuce and all this stuff. Actually... What we did was we took rice. So we're going to show you the rice we took that Melissa put on because she prepared everything for you guys. So we took this jasmine rice, right? You could use any kind of rice you like, right? There it is, right? You could use any kind of jasmine light rice you want. But we put it in this pot to cook, and it's got, like, some really yummy stuff in it. Huh? Do you want, do you want to show that pot? There you go. You want to show it? Really, really good in there. So we boiled that for, how long did it boil for? She doesn't know, about 12 minutes or so. Now we fluffed it with a fork. So that stuff is going to cook while we chop up our nice, cold, crisp vegetables. All right? And then we'll pull that chicken off and show you how we cut it up. So we have some washed romaine lettuce, really nothing special. Uh, but when you put the hot ingredients together, the hot chicken, the hot rice, the hot beans, and then you put this nice, cold, look at that, nice, cold, crisp, delicious lettuce. It's going to add a crunch and a coolness to this entire dish that you're just, it's going to delight you. It really is. We're going to love this. And you'll see how quick it actually takes to do it. 
So I like the, the heads of this a little bit better. And we're just going to cut this in ribbons, right? Now, I am not a chef. I do not play one on TV. But I like to cook. Actually, I like to cook a lot. But Melissa has taken over most of the duties of cooking because she's super awesome. So we'll just go ahead and chop this up. And I like to use the back of my knife because I learned that from my buddy, right? And we'll just cut that up. And we'll cut up a whole bunch to lay on. And I'll show you what that looks like. We have some tomato already chopped up. I like mine chopped up a little smaller. So I'm gonna chop these up just a little bit more. You have to be careful with your tomato because it's, it's tender and you don't wanna you know, make it all mushy. So I like to use a really sharp knife and then gently slice up my tomato so I don't get tomato paste or puree, right? So it's really, really simple to chop up your tomato in nice little pieces. Again, just make sure you have that really sharp knife and it's gonna look beautiful when we put it on there. Do you think that chicken is ready to turn? I'm not sure. I'm not sure? I mean, you know, you know timing. Okay. You don't have to go look, I'll go look. Okay, okay. so we're gonna go check the chicken because we wanna make sure it doesn't burn. Okay, you really put it down? I just hold it. You got both? Dude, this kid's like on, on point. All right, so we're gonna take this chicken and take a look and see how it's starting to blacken. We're going to flip this chicken. I would have left okay. it longer, but that's okay. Melissa would have left it longer, but now I'm also going to season the other side, or Melissa is going to season the other side. Go ahead. Season away. <laughs> oh, my God. This woman, this woman, she could be across the room, and she would splash oil in her eye. I don't know how it happens. It'll start here, she'll start here, she'll go all the way over there, and the oil, I swear, will jump and just shoot at her eye. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen. All right, so while that chicken is working, I'm gonna show you what it looks like after. Hello, how about coming <laughs> over here, Mr. Camera? The chicken isn't talking! The chicken isn't talking! You made me almost end. You made me almost end this. So, guys, you see what my house is like, okay? It's like a circus in here. You see, we've got our we've got our cameraman here who is filming all the chicken, and we've got our other camera woman here who's just <laughs> she's great. So, while this chicken is working, we got our rice here. I'm going to show you how to put this bowl together. So, we actually decided at like 4:30 this afternoon that we were going to do a live cooking show for you guys. So if it looks like we're a little right all over the place, I hope you know, look, your kitchen looks like this too. So don't lie, guys. Your kitchen looks just as chaotic as ours. So I'm actually going to start cutting up this chicken because it's just really, really fabulous. She did a wonderful job. And after this, we're going to eat it. So don't expect it to look beautiful plated. All right, plating is not yet my specialty. So we have chicken breast. And we have chicken thigh. Okay, so we're just going to chop that up. And if you notice, when the folks work at Chipotle, they have that chain mail on their hands so they don't cut their fingers off. Uh, I don't have that. Oh, this thing really slides on here. I usually do this on the other counter, but that other counter isn't, you know, well lit yet. So we'll work on that for you as well. So we're just going to chop this up nice. Okay, because it's just so delicious. I got the peanut gallery laughing at me. I must be doing something funny, real funny. So there's that one. That's the breast. And we'll chop up a piece of thigh as well, right? Boom, boom. You want to chop it in, in small little cubes, right? Because when you chop it in small little cubes, it's like bite size. So you chop it the one way. You bunch it up. Watch your fingers. I like to curl them like this. Yeah. And use the my knuckles as a guide. I don't know if that's yeah. you know they they've t taught you that, but anyway. So we'll chop this up. The chicken thigh adds a little bit of fat and a little bit of juice and flavor as opposed to the breast. So that's why I use both of them. So now we have our chopped chicken, right? We have our chicken chopped. We have our chopped tomatoes. I want to help. You you can help in a minute. And we have our chopped lettuce over there. Right, and Kira's gonna help put it together so she can wash her hands. I'm gonna wash my hands again, right? So let's go ahead and do that. What?
Wait, you're and missing it on oh, Facebook. Now, if you want to be a chef at a restaurant or get food from a grocery store, I can teach people how to cook and bake. Different That's... things. All right, keep going. Hello, guys. I'm Kira. I'm the secondest of Daddy's daughter. I'm 17, and I love to cook. I love to do a lot of things. Okay? Don't remind my thoughts right now. You're, a, you're his only daughter. Don't pick up the knife, please. Thank you. What should I do, Daddy? What can you do? You can tell them what we're making. Well, we're making Chipotle bowls. Homemade. From a restaurant. <laughs> Tomatoes. Chicken. Yummy. And beans. The beans are over there. And... Lettuce. And salsa, right? And salsa. You can create some chips on the side with guacamole for me. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so what I did was I put some rice in the bowl. I have beans here. We just use these canned beans. You can use dry beans and you can uh, soak them for a day and then go ahead that way. Uh, but we just used the can just because it was nice and easy. Uh, so here we have them drained, right? You want to drain your, your beans. Um, I put some of that wonderful, beautiful, look at that, come on over here, zoom in on this, zoom, that, oh look at that, look at that, I wish you guys could smell this, it's really wonderful, it uh, but it's a good, jasmine Daddy. rice, it does smell good, <laughs> so I put in about three quarters of a cup of cooked, cooked um, rice, and I'm going to add a little bit of beans, again, how much, I don't know, maybe a quarter cup of beans, so you put that in there, we're going to add some of this chicken breast, right, we're going to add some of this chicken thigh to it as well. I like a little extra chicken on my bowl, so I'm going to add this whole thing in. Now that we have that together, we're going to add our chopped tomatoes to it. We're going to add some lettuce. Kale just asked if we're eating this for dinner. <laughs> yeah, this is our dinner. Kale wants to know. So look, you guys deal with this at home, right? This is cooking at home, guys. <laughs> okay, some tomatoes, some lettuce. You could add some fresh pico de gallo. You could make, I mean, I got the tomatoes. You can lettuce. even bake different recipes. Yeah, all you need is cilantro and uh, onion. But then I have the piece de resistance, the lime. Thank God Melissa got lime. So I'll roll it a little bit just to kind of break up the juice and get it ready to go. And then we're just going to cut it, and I will cut it on my. Ooh. I just I, flipped it, hon. How do you learn how to cut, Daddy? Actually, I'm going to cut it this way first. Daddy, so the lime is really nice. So in my rice, normally I'll put cilantro in it, but we, we didn't have the opportunity to get cilantro. They didn't have any. All right, so I'll just take this lemon, and I'll squeeze like this much in there. Uh, this was supposed to go on the rice, but you guys kind of get the deal there, we right? Have too, and we have guac. So this is what it looks like. For our homemade chipotle bowl, you can put it in a dish, you do what you want. But the cool thing here is, here's what's really awesome. This sucker is easy to take to work or to school or out when you go, um, you know, if you go for a hike this weekend, you can take that with you. And you're eating healthy, you're eating homemade food. You, you don't have to go out to a, you know, chipotle to do it. Uh, if you want something like this pre-made for you, go to one of your local businesses. Uh, we're gonna, yeah, look at this one. She's my big promoter. Um, but we're going to run some really cool things. So we do personal training, as you guys know, and nutrition counseling. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some gift cards from local restaurants and raffle them off for people that want to join us in some of our programs. And we'll post that after. Okay? So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this I don't know, 15 minute segment, this 10 minute segment and of cooking live with person. Tony, Kira, Melissa, and Cal. All right, guys, it's been a pleasure. If you like this, feel free to share it with folks. We're going to bring this a little more polished each time that we do it, and we're going to cook more and more things like how to cook 12 healthy, delicious also, recipes in 30 minutes. We're going to do my Daddy, super secret chicken salad sandwich. She has an idea. Let's hear it. Well, you can cook and bake at Disney and Hershey, too, when I get a job or being a full-time mom. You can also cook and bake at home or on vacation to make animals and people feel happy. That's my idea. Fantastic. So, guys, you could cook at home. This is easy. It's not rocket science. Involve your kids and make it fun. You know, with a little more time, I would have had the kids. 
help chop everything up and flip the chicken. Uh, but it's a lot of fun. And this is how your kids could start to eat more foods that maybe they wouldn't have eaten. Because if they participate in it, my cat jumps on the window. If they participate in it, they're more likely to eat it and eat more. It's a really good lesson that we'll talk to you guys about another time. But it's been a pleasure to share with you. Um, like our page, share our stuff if you like it, which is cool. And uh, we look forward to seeing you guys next time. See ya. See ya. Save it before you go done, please. <laughs>